Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm just going to do a short video showing um, some new plants that I've got. So I did a Hampshire carnivorous plant order. Um, I mainly did it because as you can see I've got my plants back. So while I was away a friend looked after my plants and as you can see they're all back now. Greenhouse is quite a mess though, I have kind of um, haven't had time to rearrange it because this was going to be a greenhouse tour but I have got basically everything that I got back has just been dotted everywhere so I thought I would organise it and then do a greenhouse tour I like having my stuff in an organised kind of way well, in my own terms of organisation just so it's easier to see because at the moment all the Saracens are bundled together so you can't really identify um, them individually so I've also got my main ones back and I did the Hampshire order mainly to buy a present for the friend who looked after um, my plants but while I was there I can't really help myself it's like one of those things I wanted to buy enough plants so I could get free postage um, so I treated myself at the same time and brought five plants well, including the one that I got for my friend so I've only got four here which I'll show you um, so for my friend I brought a Saracenia Eva so it's a really cute little um, like Lacophila cross um, I did take a picture of it, so I'll put it over this video to show you what that looked like because I've already given it to the friend, so I can't really show it now. Um, and then what I brought myself, I again brought loads of Lacophilas, which is a bit weird for me um, because I... Well, it's weird. It's kind of weird to explain, it, actually. I The whole reason I wanted to get into Saracena was because of the Lacophilas. Um, about this time last year, just over, I hated Saracenia and now I just can't get enough of them. So when I went I went to Hampshire Carnivorous Plants when I was on holiday last year and that's when I decided to actually buy Saracenia for the first time and all I wanted was um, a Lacophila. So this was the first plant that I picked up which is just my Saracenia Lacophila pubescent form. Unfortunately um, my Saracenas now aren't looking the best in the world, their colour is fading and the traps are obviously dying off. Um, this is just to prepare for dormancy but still a lovely plant and hopefully I'll be able to get seeds from it soon because the flower should be ready soon. still very green so probably still a good month. But this is the plant that I picked up and it was really nice. But while I was there I also brought two flowers so um, I kind of have my favourite trio which is this Adrian Slack Maxima which is the tallest um, specimen of Saracen that I've got in my collection and this Ruba Corpora. Um, so after buying those flowers my passion for collecting Saracen kind of grew and I decided to get more but I didn't get the Lacophilas like I thought I would collect I ended up just collecting mainly flowers. Um, so my um, collection does mainly consist of flower species but this time I was feeling a bit um, spontaneous maybe and I went for some of the coffers. I have had a couple on my wish list so which is the first one I'll show you is Chanel's Ghost I think is how you say it <coughs> so this is a really nice one actually it's very tall as you can see um, so all the plants came bare root and this is my Saracena Lacophila Chanel's Ghost so it's a very nice white picture so my original Lacophila is like a got pink on it so it's like a white pink and green where this one is mainly white and green but it's got like a little coloration in it I don't know if you can see that at all like coloration in the throat there um, which is just like some darker lines which is really nice I really like this one and I'm really glad that it came with the tall pictures. The rhizome is quite small though, I've had to stake it up because it would just fall over otherwise. Um, but yes, this is my Chanel's Ghost, which was on my wish list. <coughs> the other one that was on my wish list, but unfortunately has been cut down um, to ship because in the growing season, I imagine this one, because this one does advertise as getting really big. But this is on my wish list because it has a really nice wide tube and I really like that in a Lacophila um, and well a Saracenia I should say but you can see it had two pictures which have been freshly cut off um, but the size of them is really chunky so I'm hoping that means it's a very tall one because my oldest ones which are the ones I've got 
when I was there. I do have also really chunky um, like pictures, stems, whatever you want to call them. So this one I imagine would have been really good. It does have a new trap coming. It's a bit obviously deformed when it was through shipping. But maybe that will become something and it obviously will look really nice. So I'll keep you up updated on that. I'm hoping that it will find, like produce at least one picture before the end of the growing season. But the rhizome of this was really decent. Like I really like the size of that. Um, I'm hoping that it will be a nice one to divide as well. But that was a really nice one. So even though it hasn't got anything to look at, it was still a really nice one. Um, now the third one, the third look offer that I got was kind of like an impulse buy because um, I was kind of looking, again I was looking at flowers most of the time but I saw these two that were on my wish list so I was like I'll get them and then I was looking at different types of flowers but I kept coming back to this one um, which is a Saracen Lacophila Heterophila I think you say, my pronunciation is terrible um, but this one is an all green and white Lacophila and it's well, on the website it's advertised it's quite rare within cultivation which I actually haven't really seen many collectors have these I've seen a couple but not you know properly but this one again is decent kind of size very small though the rhizome was very tiny on it it was adorable um, but the colour and the shape I really like this so I never planned on getting it but I really like the shape and the colour. Like, I think that like, green and white is just stunning. Like it's gonna next year as well when it gets bigger and it'll grow bigger, it will definitely be a sight point within the collection because I don't I mainly have like a lot of reds and greens going on from different flower species that I've got. So having the odd dash of white in there as well will be really nice. Um now the third fourth 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 thing that I got was a pinguicula so this is another one i just wanted i like doing like leaf pullings with my pinic um pinguicula um and i wanted to make like a glass um rockery kind of thing with these so like a lava rock um and then place it in like a bowl um so i wanted to collect some more pinguiculas which they don't really come up that often so this one is a pinguicula I think it's Cyclosecta again pronunciation bad um, but I might have got it right but this one's a nice purple one so it hasn't got much colour on it at the moment I'm hoping that it will colour up because mine have all started colouring up so my weeds are getting their pink tinges and um, that so I'm hoping that this just before again I'll have to bring these in soon because it's going to get cold and I won't be keeping them in here I'll be keeping them inside but I think like as a specimen it's really nice it fills up this whole pot it's a nine centimeter pot um, and when it gets its color I think it's gonna look really nice so again not really um, I don't really collect um, pings as I call them pings because it's just a short term for calling them um, but I did really want to make that lava rock so I was like I'll collect it now I'll be able to propagate it and um, it'll be a nice one but that's basically what I got so I can't really call it a haul but that's the only word that comes to my mind at the moment but that is what I brought so I've got four new plants to the collection three new Saracenias to add to this and everything that I've got over there so like I said my next video will be a um, greenhouse tour hopefully if I can organise this greenhouse and I have time I'm hoping that was going to be quite a long video because I've got kind of a bit to show so I thought I'd do a separate video on these just to show what I got in that order so it didn't you know drag the next video on along um, but yeah so I hope you really enjoyed that and seeing the new plants I know I really like opening them it was gonna be an unboxing video but not only do I take like forever to open especially ones with like the cling film like wrap on them um, when they wrap up plants I just can't get that off so it would have been a very boring watch um, but yeah, plus I was rushed for time so I couldn't um, open them and do a video. But I just thought I'd show them because they're nice plants and people might find that interesting. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.